Parfait joint taping kit. All the kits in the range are available in a case allowing easy storage and transport. These are clearly identifiable and each kit is tailored for each step of the process. In our joint taping kit you will find two telescopic poles from 0.70 to 1.40m equipped with universal end fitting and a quick locking system. One 40mm clip frame for the corner roll on -wee roller. One 80mm clip frame for the roll on -wee roller designed to fill the joints for the first coat. And one 180mm clip frame for the roll on -wee roller designed to coat the tapes for the second coat. You'll also find a clip mounted corner trowel and a clip mounted deco -lis handle designed to hold the two hard deco -lis blades of 10 and 30cm also supplied in the kit. Our kits are designed for applying drywall compound using a pole, thereby eliminating the need for stilts, step ladders or scaffolding. Our method reduces fatigue and the risk of musculoskeletal disorders for the person applying the material. Now let's get down to business. Let me show you how you can improve your productivity with our tools while reducing your efforts. Our entire range is specially designed for coating with ready mixed and preferably lightweight compound. We would advise you to start by mixing your compound following the manufacturer's recommendations. We have developed a special mixer for this which guarantees optimum mixing thanks to its vortex effect and it will whip it up. The plastic paddle prevents lumps from forming in the compound. The texture obtained should be consistent. Of course, your substrate must be dry and free of dust. We will start by fixing a tape to the wall and ceiling. Of course, your tapes will have to be cut to the right lengths beforehand. I'm fitting the 80mm roll-on weed to the pole using the quick locking system. I adjust the length of my pole and lock it. Our roll-on weed systems are ideal for this type of application. Their nylon fibre design allows the coating to be properly loaded onto the roller and evenly distributed on the substrate for a splash-free application. To load the roller, I advise you to go straight into the middle of the compound, roll it lightly and repeat the operation until it is evenly loaded up. A trick from a pro when using a new roller is to wipe any residue off on a piece of scrap plasterboard. Then apply the loaded roller at the junction of the boards. It's important to apply your coat to the centre of the joint. This will make it easier for you to spread out the coat upwards and then downwards. You will find that our roller technology lends itself to an even distribution because it takes up any excess compound, thus guaranteeing an even coat. You will see that this step has allowed for an even coat by applying the ideal quantity required to embed our tape. Now let's move on to the fixing and embedding the tape. This is done with the 10cm stiff blade decolis that I'm fitting on to its handle. With our handle, you can adjust the angle to suit your needs. The 10cm hard blade allows the tape to penetrate into the compound properly to prevent bubbling and bulges. We do recommend an angle of about 45 degrees for this fixing step. Here's a trick from a pro. To hold the tape onto the spatula, apply a bit of compound to it. You can now position the tape that will be held by the compound. All you have to do is press down on your tape all the way down. Scrape off any excess of compound and that's it. As you can see, our tapes are perfectly fixed. It's the same thing for work on ceilings. Fill the joint with the roll on -wee roller, adjust the angle of your spatula and fix your tape using the same procedure. You will also find a corner, roll on -wee roller and a ball joint spatula for pressing down on the tape. For all internal corners, even on the ceiling, you can also run the corner roller over the tape without any compound to position it correctly before pressing it down. I've just shown you how to fix a tape alone with the Luti Parfait Joint Taping Kit. Of course, you can still greatly improve your productivity by working in pairs. The first person coats the joint and the second embeds the tape. That's how you will achieve optimum productivity.
So our tapes are laid and our compound is dry. We can now go on to the second pass. I fit the 180mm roll enduit roller and its clip frame to the pole so that I can coat the tape correctly without widening it too much either. I load my roller with compound and I coat my tape using the same process. I fit the 30cm stiff blade deco list to my pole but this time I direct my spatula perpendicularly to the wall. All I have to do now is smooth out my coating. Once again the result is perfect. For the second coat we repeat the last steps. Only the angle of my spatula will change so that I'm about one centimeter from the heel. Just like when you fix the tape, applying the coat in pairs will greatly increase your productivity. That's it, your wall is now ready to be skimmed. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and we have been able to answer your questions. If you want to find out more, there are links in the description and check out our YouTube channel for more videos. All that's left for me to do is to wish you well in your work and I hope...